a useful technique that you can use on uh, large books, particularly things like Bibles and so on, um, is to over sew the shoulders. Now uh, this basically just consolidates the, the shoulders and the end papers and so on and uh, makes it nice and strong in this area and you'll often see when you take apart things like big Bibles that the, sh the shoulders have been over sewn. Uh, it's the same with this, this book that I'm doing now. Uh, this was over sewn, uh, it's been repaired and so on, so I'm just, I'm just um, doing that again. Uh, this is a technique that um, actually is, you'll find in Bernard Middleton's book, The Restoration of Leather Bindings. Um, so it's nothing new, it's, uh, it's been around for a while. Um, so all I'm doing at the minute is uh, making holes through the shoulder. I'm using a piece of card to protect the end papers. Um, and these are going to be my sewing holes. So I'll just do that and then I can show you the, uh, the sort of structure of it. Uh, it sometimes helps just to wax your needle or your bridle. Uh, and I'm keeping the needle as uh, level as possible, as horizontal as possible, so that we're just going through the shoulder, not down too far into the, the book itself. Arguably this, this technique could of course uh, be said to restrict the opening of the book um, in the first few sections. Uh, for large books it doesn't, it never seems to be a problem, it doesn't seem to cause any issues and as I say it's, a, it's an old technique um, but it certainly consolidates it so I think probably the benefits outweigh any disadvantages. So I've got a, a row of, of holes along there. Um, I've got a this strip of cloth. This is actually going to be um, the means by which I am attaching the book to the boards. The boards I, I'm going to be using have got split split boards, so that that cloth will go into there to hold it all in place. So the fact that sewing goes through that means that's held on very firmly to the text block. We've also got the end paper which goes along and, and up the inside of the shoulder as does the cloth joint in this particular case. This could be leather joint as well, um, or indeed you may not need a joint at all, whatever, however you want to do it, but uh, this, is, this is normally the case, you'd have a cloth joint in there. Um, so all of these elements are secured by the sewing, um, and um, when it's uh, completed, this obviously goes over onto the board, and it's a very nice, neat way of uh, securing these elements together. Um, so all I now need to do is sew through these holes. Um, what you tend to find in Bernard's book and, and what a lot of people do is actually do a sort of blanket stitch I think it's called which is where you go through the hole uh, up and over the shoulder sort of round in this way. And you can't do it obviously with, with the, um, the cloth like this so you'd, you'd actually have to have the cloth down and sew through the cloth there in order to do that and go around and over the shoulder. I'm not keen on that particular method because I think there's the potential to sort of crush and damage the shape of the shoulder if you do that. So I tend to just go in and out. In fact I've done it on this side already. Um, and so you can see the sewing just goes in and out. You can see on the back there it's a sort of straight line of sewing. So in and out, in and out and then turn around and come all the way back again so you get a continuous sewing line. So here, as I say, all the elements, the end paper, the cloth, and the cloth joint, and the board attachment cloth uh, are all sewn in position. So it makes it an extremely strong uh, method of attaching the boards, of attaching the uh, joints, um, and it, it really solidifies the shoulder ready for the board going on. So that's over sewing the shoulders, which as I say, really is only for large books as far as I can uh, find out as far as I, I've seen in terms of the Bibles etc that I've worked on.